How many hours a night of sleep do you guys get? Do you realize the importance of sleep? Do you actually know what sleep is for? I'm going to share that and so much more with you today on today's episode of Going Deeper. So welcome to the show. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that tackles the topics that many around the world struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. From mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also shares his teaching on more focused topics, such as anxiety, self-image, gaining employment, the importance of educating oneself, developing a deeper spiritual connection, mental and physical well-being, and so much more. Want to be the best you can be? You're in the right place. And now please welcome Mind, Body and Soul's very own John Morris. Hey there friends, hoping you're doing great today wherever you are in the world. I'm your host as always, John Morris, on this show called Going Deeper, where we help you go deeper and ultimately find balance in the craziness of day-to-day -to -day life. I am your host, the psychologist in training, the philosopher, the theologian, and the business guy. But more so than that, I'm the guy that's going to help you get from where you are to where you want to be in life with step-by-step -step clear instruction. I hope you guys are doing fantastic wherever you are. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Scotland and... Um, it's actually roasting here in the studio. So today we're gonna to talk about the importance of sleep. Now, a lot of people say to me, John, you know, there's so many different ideas and facts around sleep. Who do I listen to? Each person is different, first and foremost. Now, I have got, how do I phrase this? Sometimes you will hear advice given by so-called gurus that you know the less sleep you have means the more you can do i want to live the rock and roll lifestyle you know i want to style and profile and i want to do it all and i want to live the best i can there's nothing wrong with goals and ambitions but when they become obsessive and to levels of insanity then you've got to start saying hang on a second what's going on here and i'm not going to mention any names but there are some of the world's biggest self-help gurus out there, business people out there that say, I get by with three hours of sleep a night and it doesn't do me any harm at all. And then you look at their photo and they look like a criminal or someone that's been on crack cocaine for about 25 years. You know who, you know who I'm talking about. Um, so the interesting thing is this, from a psychological point of view, and the University of Yale will back this up. When we sleep, what happens to us? You may think, well, I'm sleeping. I'm in the land of Nod. It's all good. I'm having dreamy, sleepy, nighty, snoozy snooze. What is actually going on is your brain is releasing a chemical. And if you know all about sleep, you will know that we go in cycles of sleep. So you start to drift and you get really relaxed and nice and comfortable. Then you have rapid eye movement, which is called REM. Um, and then you start to get into a really deep sleep. Sounded like Severus Snape, that into really deep sleep. So then what happens is you, through, through the course of a night of an eight hour period, you will normally go through four cycles of this. The, the rapid eye movement, getting into deep sleep, coming back up to level of consciousness, all of that kind of stuff. All that kind of stuff, you're probably sitting there right now and saying, well, John, that, that's really interesting, but why the heck do I need to know that? Well, you need to know it because there's something more that's going on when you are actually sleeping. When you are sleeping, your brain is actually releasing a chemical into your body that is what we call the healing chemical. And basically, when you, you know, for example, I, I love being in the gym, I love being bodybuilding, I love doing a lot of different things. If you've been out working out in the garden or manual labor or whatever, you might say, my goodness, my body's really stiff, it really hurts, it's so painful. And then you go to bed. And the next day you wake up and you may feel stiff, but you may feel less stiff than what you did the night before. Now, isn't that amazing? Remember, nothing just happens. And you may say, well, my body's just recovered. How do you think that happened? How it happens is the brain releases chemicals all over the body that are the healing chemicals. So they, it repairs your tears, it repairs uh, muscle mass, it repairs your strength, it repairs a lot of stuff that's going on. If you're only getting one or two hours good sleep a night, then what is actually happening is your body, quite frankly, is, is going through its recharge process and then you're stopping it. Oh, wait, you know, oh, huh. Now, 
couple of times in a month, well, you know, okay, fair enough, you can survive on that and you're going to be okay. When people are only getting three hours sleep a night, and all they're doing is work, 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 work. It's what we call burning the candle at both ends. So if you start moving your hands in together, da 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 Okay, that happened really, really quickly. Okay? Now, people that are only getting three hours sleep a night and believe that they're doing this amazing work, amazing stuff that's going on, they're thriving, they're doing this, that, and the other. I believe personally that they're deluded and they're obsessed with what they're doing. It, you could call it obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, and the reason I believe that is because all you need to do is look at their skin and look at their eyes and that will give you a clear indication and a clear deciding point as to actually how they're doing inside. They may look, they may be doing phenomenal work, they may be, you know, making millions and millions of dollars, they may be doing incredible things, but ultimately if you are not getting enough sleep, it means your body is not recharging, you're not looking after yourself properly, and believe it or not, it will shorten your life exponentially. It will shorten your life on an insane level. Now why is that important then for teenagers? Well, because teenagers are going through so many different changes and so many different um, situations and events each and every single day that their bodies need sleep. That's how we grow. That's how we recharge. So when you're sitting on the phone until two or three o'clock in the morning, again, this is the importance of not having phones in the bedroom. And you might say, oh, but I need my phone. I need my phone. No, you don't. And if you do, that's showing a sign of dependency. Okay. But when you are, you know, on your phone till two or three o'clock in the morning, and then you're not able to function in the morning, do you notice a correlation <laughs> by any chance? You know, I was able, when I was, a, when, when I was a lad, when I was a teenager, I was able to go to bed at nine or 10 o'clock uh, in the evening, and I would be up again at five o'clock in the morning. Why? Because I was obsessed with being in the gym. I was obsessed with lifting weights. I would lift weights before I went to school. I'd lift weights last thing at night. I'd lift weights when I got home from school. I was lifting three times a day, seven days a week. When I was working in my second job, I was getting up at 4 a.m. I was studying for an hour, then getting in the gym till five, then till six, then going down my shower, and I would be out the door by seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, again, it's about the disciplines. What we talked about before, and you can say, well, I don't want to live that kind of life, John. So you're telling me you don't want to, you don't want to be your best self? You don't, want to, you don't want to present your best self to, you know, potential employer? That's okay, because there are hundreds of thousands of people who do want to present their best self and do want to get that job, do want to be there on time, do want to have that beautiful home, beautiful family, beautiful cars, all of that kind of stuff. And how did they get it? Because they made sure that they took control of themselves. They made sure that they got a good, solid night's sleep. They made sure that they were actually in control of what was going on and stopped be living in the delusion that life is something that just happens to them. Remember, life is what happens for you, but life is also how you respond to it. If you say in the morning, okay, well, I've got a great job, John. I need to be there at 10 o'clock in the morning. What is the importance of getting a really good night's sleep? Do you want to lessen your overwhelm? Do you want to lessen your anxiety? Do you want to lessen being tired, being cranky, being grouchy? Do you want to lessen being irritable? Sleep and diet and what you put into your head, i.e. what you watch, read, listen to, and think about is what's going to make a massive difference in your life. And if you don't believe me, I challenge you to do this challenge. Um, for a week, what I would encourage you to do, maybe actually we need to set up a, a challenge here, but for a week, what I would encourage you to do is this. Rather than listening to your usual brand of music, now this is for people that are feeling angry, irritable, annoyed, unmotivated, unpassionate, whatever it might be. What I want you to do is this. I want you to find audiobooks, and I want you to click on an audiobook that is all about that thing that you want to have. So if you want to get motivated, find a book on, on, on motivation. Jim Rowan, fantastic author. Uh, he will be fantastic for you guys to get motivated. He'll teach you a lot of things. You can plug it in your ears. You can listen to it when you go to school. You can listen to it when you come home. I guarantee you it is almost impossible for you not to be motivated and inspired by the time that you finish listening to some of these guys. If you're looking to develop your motivation and your spiritual side, Dr. Wayne Dyer has got phenomenal free audiobooks all over YouTube that I encourage you to check out. 
Um, gosh, there's so many more that's out there. But, you know, do and research and, and basically turn into a study that which you desire to achieve. But we're getting way off the topic here. But if you get a good night's sleep, if you put the phone away, if you stop talking and get to bed at a reasonable hour, it means you're going to be awake earlier. You're going to be more productive. You're going to be actually more alert. Your brain isn't going to be as foggy. You know, and you're going to develop. This kind of coincides with diet, which we're going to talk about a little bit as well next time. Um, but please really think about what I'm saying. Get to know your sleep patterns. Get to know, you know, what's going on. Because again, if you just allow things just to keep happening over and over again, they're not going to improve. They're not going to get better. They're only going to get worse. Remember, that little snowball is so much easier to deal with when it's that size. But when it's the size of a house and an avalanche coming at you at 300 miles an hour, it's not that easy to deal with, my friends. Anyway. The importance of sleep has now been covered, and if you guys have got any questions for us, bear in mind that this isn't scripted, so we can go in any direction that we choose to go in. Um, but if you guys have got any questions for us, make sure to write them in the caption section below. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash mind, body, and soul. And I, as always, have been your host, John Morris, uh, the psychologist in training, the philosopher, the theologian, and the business guy helping you get from where you are to where you want to be, helping you present your best self and be your best self, and reminding you that balance is key in all of we do when we're in balance amazing things can happen when we're out of balance things can kind of go a little bit all over the place i'll see you same place same time next week take care god bless do you your son or daughter struggle with direction clarity and purpose maybe you struggle with anxiety maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues maybe you've got great ideas but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach of the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Unlike a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as the trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be in, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step -step plan of action that we can put together. But now, folks, I want to tell you about the Early Bird Special Offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to de really develop that passion, to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, oh, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. As I say, this is open only for 10 people and once it's done, it's done. So click that box below, get in touch, let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you. Have an amazing day folks, take care, God bless and I will see you soon.